Hello, my name is Samuel Martin. And first, I want to thank y'all for this opportunity for me to speak to you. Can you hear me? Yes. Nah, nah, for real. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. I really need to know if y'all can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth because what I'm about to say is important. There's a diabolical scheme that's trying to erase me and those that look like me from history to pencil out the facts and keep me so far from the truth that I cannot bear to stand. Like sticks that blow away in the wind, like a house that is built upon the foundation of sand that's destined to crumble. Or just like a rootless tree planted in the shallow ground effortlessly falls, I will fall. I want my words to steep into the soil of your minds, penetrate the membranes of your hearts, and compel your consciousness to stop the erosion that emits me from my future. This plot to eliminate my kind, my people, from the textbooks and the true stories of history. So if I have your attention of your eyes, ears, and minds. Say, I hear you, Sam. I hear you, Sam. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We, the people throughout the world, live in a constructed reality, a sort of weaponized anthropology. A world where our history is guarded by hypocrisies, the vilifications of people, and false stories. Children drink from the page, the pages of our children drinking from the concoction of lies mixed with the truth to create our future. Pages after pages of propaganda. Our generations plunge deeper into this colorless spectrum of abyss where individuals cease to exist. Our history presented in a way that makes it seem like our history was always one-sided. Our history presented in a way that makes it seem like the hunter was always the hero. Never looking at the, the side of lion because we think he is mighty. So what am I even talking about? I am talking about history, but not even just that, but the worth of our history blocked out by the pillars of colonization. I am talking about this one dimensional, this colorless spectrum that people choose to believe. I'm trying to open your eyes to a king's dream. I'm trying to break down the context of being color cognizant. I am trying to take the chains off your minds and make you see the bigger picture. Now, let me paint you this picture. I remember how your eyes seem to never leave my every direction. Pressed against my skin like a scalpel, your eyes feel like x-rays of radiation staring straight through the depths of my body, performing an autopsy. I remember your eyes, born with hope, cleanliness, innocence, born with the eyes of a baby, pure, then corrupted, twisted by life's injection that changed you changed. And I become the spark that lights the fire. And your eyes feel like the hot rod melts in my flesh, but you never stop pressing. It's that look you give to me when I'm walking around your block and around your neighborhood because your expectations of black equals bad, that black means bad, that black is bad and there ain't no good. It's the look when you see black pigmentation. So justify where our decks bring you comfort and joy when the badge you trade us peace undermines the people and destroys, you see. The only thing that remains in my humanity is my corpse strung up to a sapling. So facing life is a series of syndromes and I'm lost in the backstreet catacombs. And just because I'm black and my favorite color is blue, my statue of virtue is scorched to a crisp and misconstrued. So why do I feel like that strange fruit hanging? The color stuck to my skin, I can't take it off. You don't know the cost keeps the cops begging on my block. You see, we're living in this fictional American dream, bookmarked between the pages and between every scene. Our history kept within the bars of a rusted cage and the image of minorities are met with the eyes of the conflicted and the afraid. And this right here is a taste of what my people face. Blindsided by an American flag that represents crimson red insecurities, white smoked imposed purities, and the false serenity of navy blue. Because this world right here, 
This world was built on rules that was printed black and white, stapled with stereotypes. The denial of my heritage. I remember what it was like to sit in a history classroom, turn the pages of my textbook to see the image of black people, shackled together in groups and labeled slaves. My only reaction to this was to look, then turn the page, look, then turn the page, look, then turn the page, until I got to page 216 to finally be, to be called people. This is the biggest contradiction that we teach to our next generation. This is the biggest flaw that goes unchecked, taught unwittingly by teachers responsible for building the next generation. The failure to expose these distortions reduce minority populations to acts of savagery. Them stripped from the lands, or the, or the lands stripped from them. Reducing them to political and economic enslavement. We casually marginalize the word slave and teach these concepts to our children, not even realizing the effects that it has on all of us. When do I get to learn about the kings and queens that I descended from? When? or look fondly to our future that appreciates the genius in our differences. Or appreciates minorities, not the ruling ideas of the majorities. The rationalized stereotypes that would see me fail, see me behind the bars of a jail cell. Our American hero was placed on sturdy pedestals just to find out that their actions was not so great. So take a minute and digest this information that I just served to you on this plate. Take a minute and examine this meat of hypocrisy. Take a minute and look at the USH, the United States of hypocrites. Quick to point your fingers, quick to hate. Telling everybody that they're lesser and that they're great. Their lies so many but still claiming that they're of the truth built upon the desolation of cultures destroying their roots. Corruption, death, hatred, these are their fruits. They indulge where we converge in our inevitable deaths. Cops put us in chains trying to control every breath. The world watched all the violence, but still sat back in silence. Our mom was crying out, still fearing the sirens. Are you a convict? They ain't hiring. Forcing a mentality, steadily just rewiring, convincing us all that it's liberty and justice but if that was the case, why are my brothers being forced to rap a ball? Because in this country, you a major threat if you black or over six feet tall. So they claim you, enlist you, put you in the fields or in the courts telling you that the struggle is over through sports. Or if you rap, sing, or spit about this ungodly shit that this system forces on you. Either way it goes, these are the only ways we've been shown. Lesser and lesser actors, engineers, and teachers. They say our culture's bent, so they sit us in the bleachers. More with the ignorance. These stains cannot be rinsed off. Music today is about the music today is about the stuff that puts us to sleep. You know, gang begging drugs. We fall them like sheep. And this didn't start with the orange man in the system. That's too deep. I'm sick of our people asking for change like we homeless. Back in the day, we made change and it was our phoneless. I'm done raising awareness because I know y'all already knew. Majorities take out minorities. Blacks get shot by the bullet of blues. Act surprised if you want to. Believe the system the way it wants you to. Because America says everything is fine as long as it don't make the news. They remember the king and the ex, but I want to give their respects to the rest. Then they call out other countries for what they do in the dark. But at least you know it's coming right from the start. Trying to punish other countries for what they did, if they did the crime, dishing out the time. But who's going to call them out? Who's going to time? And to the USH faces this crime, I'm done with America. I need more than just an apology. There's some papers that I need signed. Dismantling this system that lacks reasoning or rhyme. Because change ain't gonna happen to us on our dime. So why am I even talking? The USH, there is no debate. Because you can't make a clean slate 
while holding the dirty plates. Thank you.